Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to do a page in Lulu Mayo's Million Sea Critters coloring book. And I picked this page here. It's the little goldfish here inside of a... And I'll fold the book. But try to get it flatter. There we go. Inside a little terrarium. I don't know. I don't know whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Looks like a little terrarium, but it's an aquarium. <coughs> so we're going to do this little guy here. We're going to do a few changes to it first. I know you're wondering why, but it's just me. Um, one, let's see, I'll get a pen out. I want to do it a little change just because I think it needs it for me. I wonder if this is too thick. Oh gosh, yes it is. I just need a thinner pen here. <laughs> Don't want that one either. What about you? Are you a thin one? Well, thin enough. Okay, this is a point zero eight. Or, yeah, zero eight. I'm just going to say zero eight because that's all it's got on there. <laughs> and with this, I'll show you what I want to do. One, I kind of want to change the mouth here a little bit, and I want to bring this tummy up into the back fin here. And I kind of want to make this back fin a little rounder. That's all I want to do here. I may bring um, this fin up a little higher. This fin down a little lower. I don't know. But what I'm going to do is bring in some white ink. Shake this up and see if I can open it opening things is not my best thing to do just a regular paintbrush make sure like this one has a little acrylic paint in it I don't really care I'm <laughs> just gonna dump it in here and I'm gonna take this line I'm gonna paint over it okay this is ink so it's not going to leave it too thick or bumpy. It'll lay down, but you have to go over it a couple times to erase that line. So that line I want to lessen. And I think we'll start it up here. And then just kind of bring it down there. Okay, and we're going to change the mouth just a little bit here. I don't think there's much else I wanted to change. Just a little bit of that goldfish. And just a few more little coats here. And we're going to let that dry and then we will draw in what I want to draw in. Okay, it's dry. So, we're going to take it here, and the tummy to me is just a little bit too bumpy down here, so we're going to bring it up. Okay, cross that way, and I want it to come down this way. Connect those two lines. There we go. And then the fin here, instead of going that way, I'm going to bring it up this way.
okay and the back fin actually come up a little higher there we go and I'm gonna leave that one I may just add an extra one up here okay on the mouth it comes down a little more And we're going to kind of open it up a little bit. Like that. So it's just two little modifications. You're going to see a line here. So what we're going to do is bring this little thing up here. Kind of camouflage that. All right. With those changes done, let's get some color out and start coloring. Okay, we're going to work a little bit on the fish itself, but I do need to do all this background before I can get to the fins because I'm going to spread those out with white. So we're just going to start off with some coloration here. This one is cream. Add some highlights in here first. Okay, then we're going to bring in dark cadmium yellow. I'm going to add another little fin up there. Let that dry. <laughs> to finish this drawing here so when I have the pen out I'll just go ahead and do that I need to add a little more color there but I do have the background to color in so 
I may just color it in and cover that line. I'm going to bring in an oranger color, cadmium orange. Okay, a little darker orange. This is orange glaze. Okay, then we're going to bring in the orange red. I'm going to have to find one though. Light cadmium red.
<laughs> this can be tricky. Just wanted those to come down a little further. Yeah, I'm not terribly good at that, but I'll get the gif right. Yeah, I didn't want it to do that. Okay, we're going to go back into the yellows or the more lighter colors. This one is the uh, cadmium yellow. Just gonna lightly go over that. It's really turned out bad down here. Let's see. get some of that black out of there. It is laying on top of pencils so you might be able to do that. I'm going to turn the fishy around a little bit so I can go up around him. A little deeper color in here. Okay, go in with a little bit of the um, medium cadmium red around the eyes.
Then we're going to go over it with some cream. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to bring in some Holbein White. This is 500. Just going to highlight some areas with it. Okay, I can show you what I'm going to do when I do this little fin here because it's up in the um, body part. Let's see. I'm going to take a, a little pit pen here. Yeah, that's got dark on it. I don't want dark. Mm, this one. It is dark, okay. It's picking up some of that um, ink. We don't want that. So, we'll get out a 501 whole line. And you see how it's pulling some of that down. Then we're going to take our Posca. I don't know if this has got <laughs> anything in it. We're just going to kind of very lightly come down on this side of it. And pull some of that down. Then we're going to connect this little line here to that line.
I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to come back in and feather that up a little bit. We're going to darken his little eye here with the black glaze pen. While we're at it, everybody else who has eyes. Okay, I think I'll do his bow tie too. Anybody else out here? Okay. The uh, fins and everything else will get this kind of treatment too. I think it might be dry now. Just try not to touch anybody else's eyeballs. That part's not dry, so I'm going to have to wait. And then we're going to take a little bit of the um, cream and just touch that white. Minus that last one. <laughs> Can't do anything about him. Like that. Take a little bit of black pencil. Make sure it's really sharp. Just kind of bring this line that we have already here down a little bit. dry. Anyway, the rest of that will go that way. Did I get ink all over me? Did I smear your little face up here? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. I can get some of this background going. I'm not quite sure how I want to do it. I don't know if I want to do that all in pencil. I can do, do it in ink later. Okay, we have seaweed. We're going to start. We've got the seaweed with the dots. we got seaweed that's plain. So I'm going to go with the dots. And I've got chromium green opaque here. I assume this is part of it. Or that's shell. I don't know. We'll leave it alone. We'll just start here. Pull that down kind of dark so we have a little bit of a natural part there. And just start going up light. Add a little of earth green in here.
I need to get a eraser bit out here. Using this one down to its last little tiny, tiny bit here. I don't want to get mixed up when I go down there. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Sharpen this one to a point. Going back to the chromium opaque. And it's all behind him. Piece here. Again with a little bit of the earth green. Then we're going to go in with the ivory. Which is so little. <laughs> I can barely sharpen it. I bought myself a new one, so... That'll work out well. This is a very well used pencil. I do it with a lot of colors. There we go. So we have that coming up. I'm going to use a little green gold in here too, just to highlight some sections. I'm also going to use this in the goldfish's eye here. Okay. Earth green again. The other side with the dots will be done the same way. And let's see. We'll use some olive green yellowish to do this one with.
Just going to press harder and darker one side. And just blend it in. <clears throat> That's all we'll do on that. We'll probably put a little ivory on the other side. Just to pull that down. Mm, I think that's all of that particular one. Got the other speckles, and then we have these that are almost like the speckled ones. I want that a little darker. Okay, we'll do that on the other side, in between these two colors. This one's just the olive green yellowish color, so we can add that in probably to this guy that's plain. Put it on nice and light first, and then go in and darken it. like it should be a piece of this one. So we're going to add little dots into it. that other side. Just gonna put color down so I know which what's what here. I'm gonna do the rest of these off camera. Don't know what those they're those little feet for the crab. Okay. There. That'll be all the greenery. And I think that will do it for this video right now. <coughs> like I said, I'm going to bring these down and these will get colored in a little bit better. Just lightly go over it. Then we'll go in with the Holbein.
I don't think it needs that one there. But we put it in there, so. <laughs> so when we come back, I'll have all the green redone and um, then we'll work on the rest of it. I hope you guys are enjoying and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section down below. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Oh, maybe I should put little dots in his eyes before we go. Just so you can see it. There we go. Little blub blub. Might change him. Don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care. Bye.